Well, guys, this is the most important piece of document I finally received in the mail recently. It is my certified nursing assistant license given to me by the State of California Department of Public Health. This is my ticket to finding a CNA job through a future employer. And yeah, it's, the si it's like the size of your wallet. So this is like very important that I keep this in my wallet, which I am. Um, yeah, so happy to finally show this off. Yes, I'm officially, yep, I'm officially certified nurse assistant by the state of California. So, yeah, lately I have been really busy lately l applying jobs left and right, whether it be hospitals, boarding care facilities, convalescent centers, you know, nursing homes, um, assistant living care facilities, home health agencies, um, hospice, you name it. Like, I've been applying left and right, left and right. Of course, I've gotten a few calls left and right saying, hey, can you come in and fill out an application? I'm like, yes, I will. And so I would go over to the locations and I would fill out the applications and they'd say, okay, we'll give you a call. So I'm like, okay, great. So I've just been really busy. Like, lately, <laughs> I just recently updated my um, resume and I've been submitting my resumes online, like, left and right. Like, you have no idea how many resumes I've submitted, but um, I'm still keeping my eye on the prize, still looking for my first CNA job, and I've just, you know what, I haven't even gone on a date in a while, because I've just been so busy and focused looking for work, that it's like, right now, I don't even have time to go on a date. Well, if it happens, it happens, but right now, I've just been, like, so focused on myself right now, I just want to get my career started, and just take it from there, actually. I'm still going to school. I have decided I'm kind of leaning more towards physicians assisting, which is like one step closer to being a doctor. You make almost the same amount of money as a doctor would make, but a little bit less, but more. It's kind of oxymoronic, but um, yeah, in order for me to become, to go to PA school, which there's a school offered 40 minutes away from where I live, RCC, Riverside Community College up in Riverside, 40 minutes away up north from where I live. Um, not only do I have to complete my prereqs, basically my sciences, you know, my anatomy, my microbiology, my chemistry, my physics, I also have to complete 2,000 hours of paid, not volunteer, clinical experience, and that's where my CNA working experience will come into play. So I definitely, I'm definitely, I'm like looking, still searching for my first job. All systems go right now. I mean, ever since I got that, um, ever since I got this in the mail, I've just been like, like, just applying left and right, left and right. Like I said, all systems go and, um, still focused to keep my eye on the prize. I still, you know, I definitely want to land that for a CNA job. It will feel so good to go back to work. You have no idea how much money I'll be making. Even though CNAs don't make very much money, but to me, it's a lot more than what I'm making right now, and I'm ready to get off of this unemployment thing. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm very thankful to be on unemployment, but you know what? You can only be on it for so long. It's time to get off of it and, you know, start making my own income. I miss you know, I have not had a proper paycheck in over a year. So it will feel good to just bring home my paychecks or get back on direct deposit. And it will be just a blessing to, you know, have just being back at work and being busy. I won't be arguing as much with my parents. At least I will always, it will feel great to wake up and always look forward to, to look forward to doing something for the day, you know, like, I miss that feeling, so, I'm just really focused, and keeping my eye on the prize, and I think the only way I would get on medical insurance, so I can get the medication I need to help, you know, you know, calm down my bipolar, is if I work, depending on their policies, the company's policies, whether it be three months, six months, or a year I have to work, that I would, the best thing would be for me is to get on their insurance benefits. And that's probably the right thing that, to do that I'm going to have to do. So, 
well, and in the meantime, what I can do is just, like, I'm going to have to <laughs> just try to control myself, which I'm trying to do, but I've just been on overdrive, so, I mean, I finally reached the point where I'm like, you know what, I'm not letting anybody, you know, hurt me. I'm not having any negativity in my life, you know what, I don't have time for the drama, the bullshit. I don't have time for people bringing me down. I got too much shit going on for me, so I just basically weed them out, and I've just been focusing on staying positive and, you know, like I said, keeping my eye on the prize and just staying focused and determined and, you know, and I'm I'm in control of my life. I have a new attitude on my life, and you know what? Nothing's going to stop in my way, well, except for my bipolar, but, of course, I'm trying to control that. But anyways, I'm still human. And I want to contribute to society again and make a difference in people's lives. And I'll do whatever it takes to achieve that. Until next time, guys, I hope you guys stay tuned for the next YouTube episode I'll put out. And thank you for watching. Good night. <laughs>